Hi, my Kayla crew. Welcome back. So today I have a clothing haul to share with you and it's from a store that I've never purchased from before. It's called Maurice's. You've probably heard of Maurice's. I heard of it before, but I don't have one near me and I was online shopping around. Of course, that's one of my hobbies, you know, online shopping. So it was last weekend. I was online shopping and somehow came across Maurice's website and they were having a great sale. So I checked out the website and I picked up five pieces and I paid $100 for all five pieces. So you can't beat that, right? Okay, let's jump into the try on, see what I got and how I did with shopping for myself in this haul. Okay, so let's start by talking about this first sweater. Now, this sweater is the Solid Waffle Knit V-neck sweater, and it's in the color Coffee Bean. I'll tell you in a second why I chose this color. I picked it up in my normal size, extra large. I paid $20.94 for this sweater. The normal price was $34.99, and what am I missing? Okay, so it was made in China. You can machine wash this in cold water. The tag suggests that you turn it inside out before putting it in the wash and the fabric is 94% polyester, 3% spandex, and 3% other fiber. I don't know what the other fiber is. I picked out this color because last year I was on the hunt for the perfect chocolate brown sweater. This isn't the color I was looking for, but that's what led me to this sweater. And I thought, oh, I want to try this color. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. What do you think about it? I love the color. I love the style of the sweater. I think this will make for a great layering piece too. I'm going to come close so you can see the neckline. You guys know I love a good V neck. So really, really nice. And while I'm up close, you can take a look at the waffle knit. So I love that as well. And then you can see it's kind of got a different like stitching or weave, I should say, around kind of like the shoulder area on each side. Kind of gives it a little bit of detail. So I think this sweater is so cute. And for 20 bucks, you can't beat the price. So let me know what you think about it. I think the length is really good on this sweater and the arm length is really good too. So I'm happy with this first pick. We're off to a great start, right? Let me turn around and show you the back of the sweater. So I'm still on the hunt for the perfect chocolate brown sweater. If you know where I can get one, leave it in the comments below. I am happy with this color, but I want a dark, dark brown sweater too. Okay, I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna, oh, you know what? I wanna show you the jeans that I picked up. Yeah, I picked up a pair of jeans and they're not skinnies. Let's talk about those. Let me pan the camera down. Okay, I picked up a pair of jeans and I didn't pick up skinny jeans for myself. I picked up a pair of boot cut. Who am I? I am getting out of my comfort zone. And I only paid $17.94 for these jeans. These are the classic slim boot mid-rise jeans. So they are mid-rise. I personally call them more of a high-rise, but you have to remember I am petite. So these may hit me at a different spot than you, depending on like the length of your torso. And I picked them up at a size 16, but they had a uh, short, they had regular, and they had tall. So I picked them up in a size 16 short. Now these are in the color Dark Sandblast and what am I missing? Okay, so the fabric, oh, 87% cotton, 12% polyester and 1% spandex. These were made in Bangladesh and you can machine wash these in cold water. So what do we think? I'm looking in the camera and I think they look pretty flattering. They do have your classic five pocket style. I love the wash of these. So these will be good for work because I can wear them on you know casual Friday. I threw on my mules. I think they're still a bit long, but you know what? I think that you guys have told me before that boot cut jeans are supposed to be a bit long. Am I right? I don't know, let me know. Are they too long still? You guys are gonna have to help me out. So. I, I don't think you could beat the price, $17.94 for a nice pair of jeans. They feel nice too. Um, I don't think that these would stretch out too much. You know, I haven't had them on for too long, but I'm gonna keep them on throughout the whole try on to see how I feel, you know, at the end. What do you think about them? Are you proud of me for picking out boot cut jeans on my own? Yeah, I stayed away from the skinnies. It was tempting, especially at that price. Okay, let me show you the back of them. There's the side view. Here's the back. So I think they're cute. I do. Okay, maybe I should show you the whole outfit to see how the sweater looks with the booties or the mules, I should say. Let me pan the camera back up a little bit. 
Okay, so here's how the whole outfit looks with the sweater, the jeans. So both pieces came from Maurice's and then my own, these booties came from Stitch Fix or the mules. I keep calling them booties, but they're mules. So let me know what you think about the look. Hmm, what do we think? Different than my skinny jeans look. I have to get used to it. Okay, I'm gonna change into the next piece and I'll be right back to share with you. Okay, so I picked up another sweater. This one is the gray v-neck cutout sweater and I did pick it up in a size extra large. This is in the color light heather gray and I paid $20.94 for this sweater. Now the fabric is 75% acrylic and 25% polyester. I didn't look online for the fabrics before I purchased things. Now I worry about acrylic stretching out and losing its shape after you wash it. That's my concern with acrylic. So I'm on the fence. I do really like this one. Now I tried on a sweater that was 50% acrylic and 50% recycled acrylic the other day. And I felt like it was stretching out when I tried it on, on my body. <laughs> so that one really, I sent it back because I was really concerned. This one, I don't feel the same way about. So anyway, I was drawn to this sweater. Oh, it was made in China. Did I tell you you can machine wash it in cold water or did I just start rambling about the fabric? I think I just started rambling about the fabric. I tend to do that, you know? That's just me. <laughs> so anyway, I do love this sweater. I was drawn to the cutout detail. I'm gonna come close so you can see. It's got the cutout detail on each side. And what I really like about this one is that you don't see the bra straps or your bra straps. A lot of times with cutout sweaters, your bra straps can be seen or you have to hide them, you know? So this one's nice because you get the look without having to hide them and you can wear a normal bra. You can see the weave of the sweater close up little bit of ribbing around the wrist area. So I think this is a really cute sweater. I like the length of this sweater. This sweater also has little slits on both sides. So what do you think? I think the color is really pretty. I'd probably throw on some statement earrings with this sweater instead of a necklace, just so you could kind of see, or you know, it doesn't distract the from the neckline, I should say. Let me turn around and show you the back of the sweater. So it's cute for 20 bucks. What do you think? I like it. A lot of the sweaters that you see that have the cutout detail, you know, are more expensive. I've seen them for like 50, 60, 70 bucks. So I think for 20 bucks, this is a good way to try that trend, right? Okay, let me change. I'll be right back with the next item. You're probably thinking, Kayla, you picked up a tank top. We're heading into cooler weather. I know but I thought it would be perfect for layering under cardigans and jackets and things like that. So let me tell you what this cardigan is, or the cardigan, it's not a cardigan. <laughs> this is a tank top. It's the embroidered trim tank top. It's in a size extra large. They're calling this color dark forest green. If you've been around my channel for a while, you know I love wearing jewel tones, so I really was drawn to this color. This was $16.14. The fabric is 54% polyester, 33% cotton, and 13% rayon. You can machine wash this in cold water, and it was made in China. So the color is gorgeous. I think the fit is really nice. I'll come close so you can see the pretty embroidery. Isn't it really, really pretty? I love a good t-shirt or any shirt really with embroidery on it. I think it's so pretty. Love that detail. So I think, like I said, this will be great for layering under cardigans and under jackets. So I really am happy with the way this looks. And the back, I didn't realize this either. Um, you never know until you get things home and you can really see all the details. The back has like a crisscross detail. So you'll see that when I turn around. You know what, let me just move my hair to make sure you can see it. So that's a cute detail too. So yeah, I think this will be nice. And we've had some warmer days still. So, you know, it feels like it's mid-September. It's mid-October and the weather has just been beautiful. I'm not complaining because I, you guys know I love the warmer weather, but I haven't gotten to wear my new fall clothing yet. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. But since the weather's been warm, we wake up in the morning and it's chilly. But then midday, you know, we kind of experience three seasons a day. Midday, it's sunny, the sun is hot, and it's like 70, sometimes close to 80 degrees. Like this past week, we had an 80 degree day, and it was so nice. But you got to kind of dress in layers because you never know what the weather's going to be like. And then in the evening, 
you know, you need a jacket again or a cardigan because it cools down. So yep, we're experiencing like three seasons a day here. <laughs> so anyway, I think this is a really pretty color. I like the style, happy with my choice, and I will be right back. I've got one more thing to share with you. Okay, I know a lot of my Kalo crew loves camel print, so I had to give this top a try, and I think it's adorable. So this top is the uh, Haven Cozy Camo V-neck sweatshirt, and it is in a size extra large. They're calling this color Olive Combo, and I paid $17.94 for this top. The fabric is 76% rayon, 21% polyester, and 3% spandex. You can machine wash this in cold water, and this top was made in China. Now, if you live in a warmer climate, this might be a really nice top for you because it's not thick. When I hear sweatshirt, so when they're calling this a sweatshirt, I would think it's a little bit thicker. It's not. It's thin. It's not paper thin, but it's definitely a thinner top. When I come close, I'll see if you can um, you know, see how thin it is. So it might be a good choice for you if you need something to maybe transition or if you have some cooler days where you need kind of like a lighter, you know, long sleeve top, this might be a good choice for you. So let's talk through this top. I love the neckline, right? It's got a nice V neck. Isn't the color really, really pretty? Now, can you see how thin it is? It's not paper thin. I wish you could just kind of feel, like reach through the screen. Go ahead, reach through. <laughs> see if you can feel how thin this is. So it's not super thick, which, you know, I like to. We have days where maybe it's like 50 degrees, so you don't need a really thick layer. I would throw on a vest with this, run out the door that, you know, those type of days where it's not freezing cold, you know, late fall maybe. Um, the length of this is good. It's more of a tunic length, I'd call it, at least on me, but I'm 5'2", remember, so if you're taller, it might not be, you know, as long on you. But I think this would be a good top to wear with leggings too. I kept on the jeans because I really want to see how the jeans feel at the end of the try-on. The top does have the cutout on each side, can you, or the slits, I should say, on each side. So you've got a little bit of movement with it too. Now it is a little bit longer in the back, which is why I think it would be nice with leggings. I think it's an adorable top, nice, soft, cozy. So yep, very happy with my choice on this one. This may be my favorite piece in the haul. I really like this top a lot. Let me turn around and show you the back of it so you can see how it is in the back. So yep, I'm really happy with this one too. Okay, I'll be right back and we will do a quick recap. Okay, so I was super impressed with the pieces that I picked up and the prices too. I want to mention too, do you guys use Rakuten? It used to be, what was it called before? And it changed a while ago. Ebates. It used to be Ebates and now it's Rakuten. So I use that to make all of my purchases online. And if you don't use it, you should really check it out because with this order, I got a lot of cash back because they were doing a, I think 10% or 15% back for Maurice's. So I'll leave the link to Rakuten below. So if you don't use it, check it out. So my purchase, my total was $99.86 for five pieces. So that's really awesome. I still have the jeans on and they've actually, they feel really good. So I think I'm going to end up keeping these. I really like the boot cut. Um, just let me know though. Do you think the length is still too long? You're going to have to let me know about that. So do you shop at Maurice's? I'm curious. Have you ever shopped at Maurice's? I wish we had a store near me because I'd like to go in and kind of browse, but for now, I'll just have to do it online and maybe I'll be in an area where there's a Maurice's at some point, right? Thanks so much for watching and for spending some time with me today. I really appreciate it. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I'll see you really soon for another video. Before you go, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss out on my future videos. And before you go, as I was closing out and I almost stopped myself, <laughs> you probably saw me like hesitate or pause. I thought, you know, no, just finish your, you know, exit. But I will go online and I will list and link anything that I can find on Maurice's website below. But like I said, if you want to use Rakuten and get yourself some cash back, check out their website too because, you know, I use it frequently. Okay, now I'm really leaving you and I'll see you really soon for another video.